Layla and Zaid learn about Ramadan, a children's book introducing Ramadan by the Sincere Seeker Collection. Layla runs to her little brother's room in excitement, points to the calendar and asks Zaid, do you know what tomorrow morning is? I don't know, said Zaid. Tomorrow morning is the first day of Ramadan, says Layla. What's Ramadan? asks Zaid. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, replies Layla. I'll see you for suhoor, says Layla as she runs out of Zaid's room. Time for suhoor, says mom from the dining table. What's suhoor and why are we eating this early before the sun is even up, asks Zaid. Dad looks at Zaid and says, we eat suhoor before we start fasting to help us stay strong while we worship Allah during the day. Zaid thinks for a moment, smiles and says, I can't wait to fast today. I'm so excited. Settle down class. Today we will learn what fasting in Ramadan is about and why Muslims do it. Fasting in Ramadan is when Muslims stop eating and drinking from sunrise to sunset. Muslims also stop anything bad they do like bothering their brother or sister or not listening to their parents, says teacher Amal. Ring goes the bell as class ends. Zaid and Layla learns a lot in class today. After class, Zaid and Layla rush to the kitchen where mom is cooking for iftar to tell her what they learned in school today. Zaid says, Mommy, Muslims fast on Ramadan because Allah tells us to in the Quran so we could get closer to Allah. Wow, you're right, says mom as she grabs a towel to dry her hands. Kids, time to read Quran, says dad. The whole family gets together in a circle in the living room and opens Allah's book so they can learn more about Allah. They read the first page of the Quran. Zaid looks at dad and asks, Dad, what's the Quran? Dad replies, Son, the Quran is Allah's words, which came down to us in this blessed month, so we should read the Quran every day. After they finished reading the Quran, Zaid and Layla's stomach starts to rumble. I'm hungry, cries out Zaid. Me too, little brother, replies Layla. Zaid and Layla get together and ask their parents, Mom, Dad, fasting really makes us think of people that do not have many things. Can we go down to the shelter and donate food and clothes to people in need? Sure, that's a great idea, says Dad. Ramadan is not just about fasting. It's also about giving to people, helping others, being good to your parents, and doing as much good as you can so you could get closer to Allah and make him happy, says dad. When they get home, mom announces, time for iftar. Now that it's sunset, it's time to break our fast and then pray maghrib, says mom. The food looks delicious, says dad, as he grabs some dates. I can't wait to break my fast, says Zaid. Fasting today really made me more thankful we have each other and food and a home to live in, says Layla. After eating, Zaid and his dad drives down to the mosque to pray Isha and Tarawih together with family, friends and neighbors. MashaAllah, the mosque is so full, dad. Is it really Allah's house? asks Zaid with full excitement. Yes, Zaid, this is one of many of Allah's houses where Muslims come to think of Allah, pray to him and thank him for all he has given us says dad. At the mosque, the imam gives a short talk about how special the last 10 days of Ramadan is and how blessed the night of power is. Zaid and Layla look forward to the night of power so they can do extra good and earn a lot of rewards from Allah. At home, Layla has the idea to decorate the house with mom for Eid, the Islamic holiday Muslims celebrate after finishing the month of Ramadan. What a great idea this was, Layla. The house looks so much better, says mom. Zaid, Layla, and the whole family get together in grandma's house. Grandpa shares a story with everyone about his first Ramadan. 
Grandpa said, even though Ramadan may be hard, he always enjoys it and Ramadan always gets the family closer. You always have the best stories, Grandpa, says Layla. When they get home, Layla and Zaid sit together and start thinking about how fasting helped them do good things like praying Fajr on time and reading Quran. They also talked about how Ramadan helped them stop doing things they should not be doing, like sleeping too late and arguing with each other. As Ramadan ends, Zaid and Layla's family and friends get together for barbecue and fun in the backyard to celebrate Eid. Eid Mubarak to you, Layla. This gift is for you, says Zaid to his sister. May Allah reward you with good, Zaid. What is it? asks Layla. May Allah reward you with good too. The gift is a Ramadan board game so we could play together. Remember how Ramadan helped us get closer to Allah, replies Zaid. I can't wait until next Ramadan, says Layla. The end.